Good day, beautiful people. As you have probably realized, I have not uploaded a video in approximately a week. And yes, I'm still here, I'm still present, just in case if you're wondering. And there is a reason why I've been YouTube MIA, and it's not that whole getting completely demonetized on YouTube shenanigan. No, that's not stopping me. I am in the process of moving houses. And I'm moving back to the city, and this paired with a few other things has kind of kept YouTube out of reach. So yeah, I'm moving, and I'll be making a short series of moving videos, just talking about living in the countryside while I'm moving to the city, just kind of videos about the whole move in a short series, so be sure to check that out. <clears throat> Ooh, good coffee. To keep updated with that series, be sure to follow me on Instagram and look at my Instagram stories. I always keep my followers up to date with what I'm doing at Sylvester underscore production. And make sure to check the notification bell down below. So anyways, in this video I'm going to talk casually to whoever is listening about what I've been up to in the past month. This is Casual Sessions 2. It's basically a blog entry, but don't have my mum. Where do I start? I've left off Casual Sessions 1, kind of in the middle of January, so I'm going to start off in February right here. February was a great month for many reasons. One, I got, into, I got super into food and product photography, mainly of things that I'm selling online, such as jewellery, shoes, etc. I'll actually leave a link to all the stuff that I'm selling down below. It'll be the AdWords link. But I've also been photographing a lot of my bakes and cakes. Here's a few examples. All of these are going to be on my Instagram soon enough. Talking about buying and selling things, I've actually bought a pair of Doc Martens. And before you keyboard warriors, and before you keyboard warriors who are also regular eaters, i.e. eating meat, start being considerate about cows and animals in general, and attack me about using ladder in my Doc Martens. Well, they're not real ladder. You see, Doc Martens have a range of shoes that is completely vegan. It's a synthetic fabric that is still to high quality and it looks practically the same. So yeah, calm down boys. Talking about Doc Martens, they bring back a lot of memories of having to break in shoes. Like wow, that was an actual thing back in the day. So I'll give you an exclusive preview on how I broke these in in about 2-3 to three weeks. And bear in mind, I did not wear these every single day. So, I wore two pairs of socks. Like, a pair of casual socks like this. Then a pair of thick woolen socks over the top of it. Then I also wore them around my whole house. So when I was kind of doing push it to settle, I put them on. Just to kind of give them more stretch. I also used Wonder Balsam, which is a specially made Doc Martin preservative and softener of the material. And I never wore them two days in a row. Honestly, that whole process took not too long and I had no bruises, no blisters on my feet. I highly recommend the steps I took. If you want a more in-depth video with actual examples of what I'm talking about, please comment down below and I'll be sure to make that as soon as possible. February 13th. This was my mom's birthday, and it was honestly such a nice day. We, and I'm talking about my close family, so my parents, my sister and I, just sat around in the sitting room table. It was pretty cold, but we lit a live fire. And we watched old family movies, and looked at some pictures as well. And one other thing, we ate so much cake, because like, I don't eat cake every day. Joking, I do. I also made a really nice slideshow for my mom. And surprisingly enough, it was only about a minute and a half long, but took 40 hours to render in Primer Pro. Like, what? Oh yeah, I also drank alcohol for the first time in the whole year, then. <sighs> so I think I mentioned my last Casual Sessions video, 
linked right doing quite a bit here, of product think. photography, yeah. especially yeah, on my cooking. I've got a tattoo, well two to be precise, and they fully heal now, which I'm super happy about, and they really do look good. That thing, but in the last few weeks of February, I've had work placement in a nice boutique exclusive hotel. And if you're not familiar with work placement, it's kind of like internship without guarantee of a job. So basically slave labor for two weeks. But looking at the good side of working free for two weeks, I've got a lot of new skills. I've been treated as a barman, receptionist and a waiter. And I'm very confident in working in any of those areas right now. So if you're looking for someone, hire me right here. I'm available. I'm not going to talk a lot about my work placement in this video just because it's two weeks of stuff and I could be here for maybe 10 to 20 minutes. So I'm going to just talk about the last day. On the last day I worked in the accommodation staff which is basically the housekeeping team. And I set up the rooms really handy really quick but after that I did a lot of the photography for the hotel. I photographed a room and it was a really hard job because the lighting was dim and I didn't have a tripod. I had a mono I had a monopod though, so I may do with getting pretty nice shots. I'll show you all of them right now. Yeah. Yeah, so the hotels plan to use them for the website and it's also plan to use the social media marketing plan that I've devised for them. <laughs> Who would have thought it? I'm finally using my social media marketing qualification to good use. It's been a while and I probably should use it for my personal stuff. Unfortunately though the hotel took this plan and my photography as part of the experience so I did not get paid and I'm absolutely appalled at that. For our last few days in February, it actually snowed in Ireland and it was pretty much a blizzard. It was absolutely wonderful. I built a wall which was intended to be an igloo, but it just ended up being like two feet wide, one foot high. Really small, really humble. Sure, what can you do? My sister built a few snowmans though. Well, in that whole process, we were stuck in a countryside for four days. That you couldn't leave the driveway, it was that bad. And the roads as well, oh my god. I know we have a lot of tractors around, but they just didn't clear the roads, so it was often just blocked with snow. Really bad stuff. At the end of that, we kind of reserved to eating oats and brace yourselves, unripe bananas. I know, absolute blasphemy. Yeah, in that time, I've also had a lot of time to. Just be with myself, watch movies, read books, and and Paddington 2 is a great movie, I do tell you. I've finally got around to watching that. What else happened this month? I was about to book a few holidays for May and June, and I thought about these since probably December, but I was actually looking pretty deeply into them and started to merge and just plan my flights, accommodation, etc. Not trying to be too in depth into it because I want it to be some spontaneous, but still I need some to go off from. But some kind of put me off this, and it was just random factors in a day, kind of like the whole moving situation and college exams, etc. So I kind of ended up putting my name down for volunteering. One at the vegan festival, another at film festival, and the last one I think was in Peru, but uh, I don't know if that's happening. <laughs> I'll look more into all of these later tonight, and I'll like keep you updated in next sessions. Oh yeah, the piece hosting at health festival will be from the 20th to the 22nd of March, which I'm not sure if this video is coming out before or during or after that, but. It's around this whole time. I'm shooting this on the 19th of March. As the PR for the Students Council, I was tasked with designing the posters for the Mental Health Week. And I've done about seven posters, I believe. 
overall, and I think they're really good. Have a look at these. It's been a nice time going back to Illustrator after so long and actually picking it up, looking at it and trying to be creative. Each of these posters only took me about 90 minutes, which I'm pretty happy with. Cooking wise, in the past three months, I've made so much new things. Oh my god. If you've been keeping up with my Instagram stories, you would have known. I've had butternut squash for the first time and I've made dishes such as fries, wedges, bakes, and just boil as well to use the salads. It's a really nice vegetable and I'm absolutely in love with it. I made enchiladas, tacos, tortillas, homemade, homemade, super chewy chocolate cookies, gingerbread cookies, beer cookies, dirting, I swear, shortbread biscuits, and finally I found a bread recipe that's super easy doesn't need that harassment period, I forget the technical term, and is vegan. Hashtag hooray. Then I've also made so many vegan stir fries with rice, gross, buckwheat, pasta, vegetables. Oh my god, I'm in love with Asian cuisine. Delicious vegan pizza that only takes about 30 minutes, including the oven time. And also, Lasagna, I made this yesterday and it was so good, oh my. Took about an hour and 20 minutes, not including the baking time to prepare. And it was two sauces, some fillings, and oh, it was magnifico, mwah. And recently, just this past weekend, onto a local health food store, Holland and Barrett. And this is a popular health food store in the UK and Ireland, as it's been the first one that I've been there in the past years since so going vegan basically wow what an experience the foods that he had were not much more expensive than what you find in supermarkets at the minute and they were like mainly organic super rich nice ingredients and I bought two bags of things I'm really looking forward to trying most of them things I have not made it any cooking videos recently though, like my last one I think is the shortbread biscuits, I've made that back at the start of January, uploaded it not too long ago. So if any of those recipes, ideas or dishes sound delicious and appetizing, mouth ruling to you, be sure to comment down below and I'll make a video as soon as possible, probably next week. Now to the more personal side of this video. Spirituality, oh yeah. Innately, I am a very spiritual person and don't get that confused with religious because they're two completely different concepts. I'm spiritual. In the past two months, I found myself going down a winding path that may not appear ideal at first, but I think it's what I need. You have probably heard of people who have wanted to be a dentist at the age of seven and every decision in their life has led up to them becoming a dentist. I'm not that kind of person. I've been reevaluating my life, what makes me feel at peace, fulfilled, at one. And I haven't found that yet. But that's okay because I've because I've learned to lose all entitlement labels, expectations of myself, and accept that I know nothing. Which is completely fine. I have not been posting on Instagram or chatting with people much lately. And I know that your ego right now is telling you that I'm a loner, depressed or worthless. But that's the thing. I haven't been on social media much lately because I am starting to be okay with myself. I've accepted that I am love, I am perfect, I am worthy. There are some good mantras for you. We as a society use friends, activities, food, technology and many other external factors to distract ourselves from looking at ourselves and looking at what's within. I'm challenging you to do a 7 day vegan challenge, unplug for 6 hours a day or meditate for 5 minutes every morning. Just do something to spend time with being with yourself. And now here's a boot I may talking. The world is full of suffering. There is 
no denying it. But we can overcome suffering by losing all attachment and following the process of the Eightfold Path. Google it. I promise you it will be worth it. And Google will probably explain it better than I can right now. To circle back now. You may not know your purpose in life or have the goal that will leave you fulfilled for your life completely identified just yet. But the best thing to do right now is close your eyes, breathe into the count of four, out for the count of eight, Trust your instincts, follow the path of least resistance, and know that it will be okay. You beautiful soul, have love all around you. Feel that tingling inside your heart. We are one. And thank you for spending this time with me.